Hey everybody, this is Captain Obvious 22 and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a countdown timer. Uh, so basically what it does is if you add it with this right here, the clock, which I'll show you in another video, but if you add it with the clock it becomes really cool. Like you can have it uh, do a lot of things. You can actually have this as a timer that actually shows people like how many minutes are left or things like that. You can also have it as a, uh, a death counter. So I'll show you a couple of the uses, but let, first let's go into how it works. So every time this is pulsed, it goes up one and it stays it stays counting. Say two, three, four. So basically if this were tripwire, if this were connected to tripwire, let's say um, you had it near somebody's spawn. So every time they spawned, they had to walk through a door that had tripwire, it would go off and it would tell you how many times they actually died. And that's five. And then basically, um, once everything is triggered, this is the output. So you can have it to fireworks. You can, I mean, you can have it to whatever you want. You can have it open a door. Um, you, you literally, it's it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. So once, I mean, and this can go as far as you want. I just, I'm just showing you five. You can just keep repeating the pattern and go as far as you want. In my uh, quick build world, as uh, many of you know from Twitch, it's I have it up to 25 before it it sets off all the fireworks but you can literally have this, this is the output you can also have it um, which I'll show you later, we'll, we'll actually connect it to where it comes back over here, this is the reset so once you press this button boom it resets everything so you can just have it go right back around okay so let's just uh, get into it, I only separated blue and red just to make it look um, so you guys can follow along first part is uh, fairly simple Okay, so let's I just want to make sure I start it on the same line or right here. Let's do it about right here. Okay. First you're just gonna put down a block. Put some redstone dust on top. Take a repeater. All repeaters are on three ticks, by the way. See? Three ticks. Okay. And you're going to put a block on top of that. Oops, sorry. Should have did I should have did that before the for the dust. Anyway. Okay, so it's like that. You put a piece of redstone dust there and then you just go so however many uh however many lamps you want that's how many pieces you got so many you're just going to double it for the amount of uh amount of blocks you put down so we're gonna do five so we're gonna want ten of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and you're gonna put dust along all of that like that okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here these are everything you need, by the way. Uh, block of your choice. I just have two for the demonstration. Uh, a regular piston, sticky piston, a button just to test it if you want. Uh, repeater, redstone dust, and torch. The amount of redstone dust and repeaters it depends on how long you want it. So I'm not going to sit there and and count it for you. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to skip and you're going to put a piston like this. Okay. And then what you're going to do is, I forgot my sand, so let's go back and get some sand. Actually, we can get rid of the blue now. Blue's done. I'm just going to put sand on top of each one of these. Okay, and then you're going to put uh, another block of, like I said, another block of your choice right here, just like so. Okay, and then you're going to come along like this. So you're going to do one, and then one, two, three. There we go. And actually, we're going to put that on three. That's already on three, like I said. And then we're just going to put... These in the middle again on three. Like that. Okay, let's just come over here and make sure we're all lined up. Yep. Perfect. And actually, I forgot something. That's why it's not working. Right here, guys. Sorry. First piece, redstone torch. 
That's why it's not uh <laughs> that's why it's not working. We're just gonna break this line real quick and it drops. Okay. So yeah, so this is that's why those are up. You just gotta put the torch here so it inverts. So I, that way every time you press the button, now it flicks and it goes like that. Okay. Let's break that again real quick. Okay. Then you're just gonna come out from this. Every one of these. So remember all of these are on three ticks and that one too but these right here these are not on any ticks those are just like that um, so now basically if you wanted it to let's say you wanted it to rest flush against the wall let's say you wanted the wall to be the timer you would just basically extend this over here or you can always just build this um, reset this way but for now let's just let's just extend it out so we can actually make it look nice okay so we'll just come down with this and again put a repeater now you can't you don't need to do this step you could just keep it like this where you have the repeater then you build up but I'm, I'm gonna do it this way just so we can uh, we can kinda make it look nice afterwards so you build up. And you don't have to have this go into lights either. You can have it going into whatever you want, but Okay, so let's just give it a little test. First light should go on. Second light, okay. And now we're gonna build ourselves our uh reset. So what you're gonna wanna do, it's it's gonna wanna be right up here. Okay, so we're going to bring it like that, see how it resets it, and then we're going to build a three out from that, I'm sorry, four out from that, cut this first one out, then go in between the middle of them, so you have three, so in between the middle of them with your sticky piston, like so, and put it right there, and then this becomes your reset, so you press it, oh let's do it on this side so you can see it. So you press it, pops in. Okay, so you press a couple times, one, two, and then boom, it resets the signal. Okay? And again, you just build this up. You just build this up like anything. So you can do redstone dust if you want into something. Or like I said before, you can actually have it to where, <coughs> so what happens is you build this out, okay, put another one here, that's on the end. So this is your output signal once it's all done, but you can actually build it up, or build it around like this, and have it go to your reset. Just make sure you also uh, put down some repeaters because obviously it's uh, it's not probably not going to make it. But this should be good. Oops. Um, you can go underneath too. Going underneath will probably probably be better. Well, yeah, let's go this way. No, let's go underneath. Fuck it. <clears throat> the reason why I want to go underneath is that I really want this to rest flush. Cause I'm going to show you that. Uh, show you what you can do with it. So let's just go underneath here real quick. <clears throat> now this is just carrying a signal, guys. This is this. I mean, I know I'm doing it fast for this tutorial, but this is just you're carrying it from one. You can go any way you want. You can go higher if you want, whatever. You can carry it. And this is just one example of what you can do with it if you want it to self-reset. So somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to put another repeater. Let's say... Let's say here. Okay. So now it should work when we get down to the end. Let's see. Two. Three. Four. Five. Poof. Once it gets to five, that's it. It's done. 
Okay? You also could have it on a delay. You could put like a ton of repeaters going out this way on like three or four tick delays so that way it doesn't happen immediately. But that's just one example of what you can uh of what you can do with it. You can also you can have it re self reset. <clears throat> I mean the best way to probably do it is to keep it on a keep it manually reset where you actually have to reset it yourself. That's what I've always done with um with this, where you actually have to flick a button yourself and just reset it, but again, you can have it reset. So uh, you can have it reset by itself if, if you'd like that. So that's why I put that there. Okay, so now that <clears throat> now that we built that, uh, let's just keep it like that for now. Now what you can do is clear that inventory real quick. I don't know why I picked pink. Sorry. Okay, let's fill that up. Okay. So now what you can do, let's say this is where you want your wall to be. Uh, let's use quartz since that's my favorite. It's probably most people's favorite. Okay, just build this, build around this. Which means this right here itself is not going to be red. <coughs> okay. And, you know, like I said, you can have this built into whatever you want. You play around with it once you actually get the uh, timer. So there you are. There's You can have it on both sides, and then the teams will... <coughs> it'll, be, it'll be a death counter. Or a point counter. I mean, you can, you can literally have, like, two walls where there's a master control, where there's, like, a referee who pulls it for each side when you, when you get a point. You can do that, you know, like basketball, you can have a scorekeeper. That's two, or sporting events in general. You can have like a scorekeeper. That's three. That's four. Okay. So this will be your this will be your countdown timer or count up timer. It depends on <coughs> how you want to look at. It. I say countdown in mind because of my quick build challenge, where it's connected to numbers in descending order. So the first one is instead of actually being number one, it's actually number 25 because I have a 25 minute timer. The second one instead of two, obviously it's 24 and so on. So that's why I say countdown timer. It's literally just, uh, just a, a timer or a, a, a counting clock, let's just say. Okay, so it's, it's a counting clock. And yeah, so that's basically that. And again, at the end of this, you can have fireworks hooked up. So whoever dies gets that. You can have it however you want. If you're doing like a death room, you can have it where it release it. It's connected to a dispensers on top, where it releases lava and kills them. So if you're doing some kind of timer where they have to escape, before I was thinking about making a mini game like that where you have to escape a room, and you have waves of enemies and stuff like. Or th this could also be connected to waves. <coughs> so you can have this output right here, because uh, instead of instead of just having it like that, you can also um, so you can have it where it's. Here, hold on a second. Let me show you guys this. So for right here, you can actually have it where it's it's both. Okay, so it's a it's this clock right here, or it's the lamp right here. Okay, but the signal also the signal also gets repeated upwards, so you can carry it to something else. Okay, so if this was like your ceiling over here, let's just say this right here was. Let's just say this right here was your ceiling. Just trying to give you guys a couple, you know, just some ideas that I have what to use it for in case you're just like, oh, what do I need this stupid thing for? <coughs> so now you can actually control the signal too. So this is the first one. Well, let's uh, let's put a button back on this so I can reset it real fast. Okay. So this is the first one right here. So it's the first light, but it also could activate uh, dispensers. So let's go with. Here we go. Let's go with dispensers right there. Okay. So let's say. Let's say you want to have like a. Like I said before, let's say you want to have like a, a room. Okay, a death room. 
And again, this clock could be back here, and these these right here could be anything. You could push them close together if you'd like. Um, you have to do you have to do right though because um, you want to make sure that it's it's up because it'll only carry one up. So you can push them together where it's one up, but you just got to be really careful because if if you put it if you put the uh, if you put this directly into it, it's going to light up two next to it. So that that won't that won't actually be good. But you can have this extended wherever you want. You can have one light here, another light here, all around the room, so they know like which which wave they're in. You can have ten lights for ten waves. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you can play around with it. If you don't know what I mean, I'm sorry. But um, okay. So let's say you put some. I actually have no idea why I had all those things in my inventory. All those bricks. Uh, let's say we put down some zombies. Okay, so let's just do a couple in here real quick. <clears throat> and same thing for here. Just put seven in there. Screw it. Oops. Okay, so basically... <clears throat> Although you probably you're gonna want to put the zombies in before you do this because it's probably gonna fall down right now as soon as I do it. Yeah. So let's just get these guys out of the way. Kill them real quick. A splash potion of harming. Not that we needed the sun will take care of them, but are they both together? Oh wait, no, he needs healing, that's right. He's a zombie. I'm just helping him. Whatever, he can stay there. He's gonna die anyway. Okay, so now every time this is flicked... It should light up, no? Is that is that not how it's gonna work? Okay, let's reset this. Oh, I know why. My fault, I gotta use repeaters. Repeaters, are, repeaters will make it better. <clears throat> uh, let's just put it right there. Okay. So I'm just giving, trying to give you guys some examples of how you can, uh, how you can actually do this. Okay, so we got four. So let's put this here. Why is it not working? It would probably be easier if this were just, um, it would probably be easier if this was actually going into it instead of on top of it, so that way it'll pulse every time. I know every time you reset it, they're going to fall, but it shouldn't be just be, uh, if they reset it. It should be all the time, but, oh well. Anyway, <laughs> you guys get the idea. I don't, I don't, I'm like, I don't have time right now to be sitting here playing around with that, but that, you get the idea how you can, uh, how you can actually use it. So it's a pretty sweet little, it's a pretty sweet, um, countdown timer, or, um, pretty sweet, uh, countdown or counting timer. And again, if you pair it with my, my clock over there, or the clock over there, and my clock, just the clock that I use, it, uh, it works really well. It works really, really, really well. So, Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I hope the tutorial was good. I know that <laughs> in certain parts I was, like, going crazy, but that's only because I'm trying to think of stuff on the fly for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, this was already, obviously, in my head, but I wanted to show you a couple of ideas that I had um, when I first set out to make the tutorial that you can actually do. So, <clears throat> again, be creative with it. Let me know what you guys uh, what you guys do with it in the comments below. Let me know if you just keep it as, as just a uh, counting clock or if you do something creative with it like I was just trying to do. <laughs> Um, let me know, you know, send me screenshots if you can, but, uh, but yeah, just always, always remember that you can, um, if you do extend this out, if you don't just do the, the quick one, like I was showing you before where you just went like, <clears throat> you just go like this. Obviously that wouldn't be there if you were doing it, but if you want to build it out, I think the best, I think the best way to do it is to just extend it out and obviously past your past your uh, reset button and do that I mean you can always do this too <clears throat> so if you're gonna have it this way if you're just gonna have it nice and simple like this and be a counter 
obviously this right here would be where your reset would go. So you would just you just put your reset. Uh, let's see. Right along here, right? That's where the button is. And you want to make sure it's not a switch. Uh, not, you don't flick it because you have to. It has to pulse. So even even this right here, and then you would just carry this signal over here to be your. Um, <clears throat> in case if you wanted to ever, if you wanted to have a manual input as well, like I said, if you if you wanted like a score, uh, like a scoreboard or something like that. Okay, so this let's let's turn it off real quick. Let's make sure that works. Is that not working? Because it has to go higher. There we go. Okay, so that's your reset. And this is your start. So if you wanted somebody to have like a privileges to actually be the scorekeeper. And again, this could be set up underneath. It could be like an array. You can go up with it to make it like there's somebody like high up watching. So one side, two side. And they would flick the left side for the left score. You know what I mean? You can have it, you can have it go like that. <clears throat> and since you can carry these lamps down, you can have it go to whatever you want. Three, four, and then obviously reset okay so that's just one idea of how you can use it guys um i do want to finish this off though because i kind of like the way it looks um but just le let me know let me know how you use it let me know if this was helpful uh, hopefully you're able to follow along i mean for the tutorial part you can always just uh you could probably just pause it on one of these things and just do it just remember that under the sand is the uh uh under the sand is the uh, pistons not sticky pistons. This is the only one that's sticky. Okay, and remember that all of these right here are three ticks along with the one underneath. And the rest of these are just regular regular ones. Alright. Alright guys, until next time, uh, Captain Abbas out. Peace.